Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand domain, relation schema and relation state in RDBMS. So this is the another set of uh, uh, terminology that we are going to understand in this class. The basic terminology about relation tuple and attribute has already been discussed in our previous video if you haven't watched that video please watch that video and come back here and every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now let's try to understand domain so what is meant by domain domain is a data type describing the type of values that can appear in each column so this is what we call it as a relation uh, a relation name and these are the attributes and what does the domain represents is it is the data type that describes the type of values that can appear in each column so for example if you want to store the names names and what are the suitable data types the the suitable data type for name what are the suitable data type so it is character string so this is a data type right so the data type which is describing the type of values so the name is going to be a character string so it is not going to have numerical values okay though the numerics are considered as characters it should not have a, a, a numeric characters and the data type that is suitable for this uh, domain for uh, the, the domain of the values that are stored in this attribute so the specific data type that is suitable is string characters and if you take a's can a's have alphabets like a b c d and so on no it should have only numbers so it is going to be an integer it is not also floating point values because the age cannot be 35.6 or 35.7 in that way so the age in our case it is represented as integers 37 38 40 46 in that way so date of birth is of type date format date format so the data type which is describing uh, this attribute values is what we call it as domain the domain of this attribute is date is of type date similarly ssn ssn uh, it can be of character string type because it is it is involved with hyphens if it is involved it is going to be a, uh, it is going to be a character string or it can be a an integer type it is a number because it is a number and this is a salary salary is an integer type it should not have any character strings so that is what we call it as a domain okay so now uh, the next one is relation schema so what is meant by a relation schema for any attribute so one more thing is for every attribute we have to declare the domain so because because for example if you try to insert a into a's that should not be allowed that should not be allowed because we are stating it as an integer we are stating it as an integer and we are trying to insert characters which is which should not be allowed okay so that is the reason why we have to specify the data types of each and every attribute in the implementation we will try to understand these concepts as of now just try to remember the concept of domain it is the data type describing the type of values that appear in each column okay the next one is the next one is relation schema r what is this relation schema r is it is denoted by r of uh, a1 a2 a3 an he is made up of a relation name r he, so this this kind of representation is made up of a relation name r and the list of attributes so the list of attributes are mentioned so for example if you take our above example in the above example uh, the relation so this is employee the relation is employee the relation is employee and the attributes are name uh, age next sex ssn and uh, we have salary okay this kind of representation is what we call it as relation schema relation schema okay so the degree of a relation 
uh, is the number of attributes so how many number of attributes are there one two three four five attributes are there and the degree of this relationship and this uh, relation is it is not relationship it is relation relation is five okay so now uh, this is how the relation schema means uh, this is how the relation schemas are represented the another way is the another way in the sense uh, we can also use this type of representation so this is a, a relation employee employee and the attributes are name age sex ssn salary okay so this is how the relation schema r can be represented this is another way okay so the next one is and the ssn is what you call it as a primary key the next one is relation state a relation state r of a relation schema so for this relation schema r the relation state is denoted as r of r is the set of n tuples so for example for this relation state for this relation state so these definitions are uh, very dry in nature it is uh, name name age sex ssn and salary the relationship uh, the relation state r is the state of the number of tuples in the relation the number of rows in the uh, relation relation schema so relationship state this is what including the number of uh, tuples in the relationship is what we call it as a relationship state and there are two types of representation of this relationship state uh, states one is uh, intention and the other one is extension intention means just representing the uh, rows uh, just representing the relation schema is what we call it as intention means just r extinction means the rows of the columns at that particular instance of time the number of rows n tuples the number of the set of n tuples the number of rows at that instance of time is what we call it as a relationship extension of the relationship state okay so this is these are this is all about the domain a relation relation schema and relationship state hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching